lightning branches across the sky, briefly revealing the shadows that lie in wait. The storm is a blessing, one that they must take advantage of. The thunder masks their steps, while the rain blurs the lookout's sight. They were scouts, or for a better word, professionals. The minister paid a large sum for the discretion. The first shadow, a giblin by the name of Grizz, slides her knife across the lookout's neck. The second, a Bornalian called Aldrin, surveys the encampment. What do you say, boy? Asks Grizz, licking the blood from her knife. The patrols are changing shifts, replies Aldrin. Time to move, then. Make sure to keep up this time. The pair calculate each step as they sneak all the way up to the commander's tent. Inside, there are maps, encoded messages, and plans. Plans of an attack, or rather, a raid. Important information, but not what they were sent for. They needed a name. Aldrin begins to stuff the scrolls into his pouch, when suddenly, two silhouettes move along the canvas. Did you see the look on the commander's face? Asks a bandit as he steps into the tent. Something's got him spooked. Don't let him catch you saying that, says another, with a bow slung across his back. You heard about this King's Call nonsense. Looks like young Regis suddenly cares about what happens outside the walls. I'd be scared too if the Legion were coming. I'd be scared 20 years ago. Those new boys, I don't think they have the guts. The Legion ain't coming. Besides, if you knew the General like I do, you'd know they're the ones who should be scared. There it was. The reason they had been sent in the first place. Who was the General? They couldn't let the moment slip. As quickly as they hit, the scouts emerge from behind, kill the archer, and begin their interrogation. Aldrin was never comfortable with Grizz's tactics, but they always worked. As Grizz works her teeth through cartilage and sinews, the bandit finally gives them the general's name. It was one that worried them. Time to go, boy, says Grizz. The scouts slowly look through the tent flap. Wait! Her yellow giblin eyes were built for the dark. She could see helmets and armor peeking from trees, barrels, and tents. An ambush. We've been had. Aldrin blows out the lantern, casting the tent into darkness. Lightning strikes. Before the thunder reaches the ambushers, the scouts slice through the tent and duck behind a row of shields. Grizz pans the campsite. From what she can see, bandits have tucked themselves into every visible corner. The way out gets trickier. We kill through. Aldrin nods and removes his dagger before lunging towards the next three victims. 